Okay, so before I make this video, I think there is this very huge misunderstanding uh, that I am cursing Baba to drop uh, below a certain price or whatever and uh, maybe you all think that I will be happy if it drops or something like that and all that. So uh, all this is based on the charts. None of this is based on Malice or any bias that I see. It's based on the past observations in the charts. Okay. So this is zoom out one week. Let's take a day. Okay, let's take a day. So you all can see clearer what is going on. So we can see that ever since uh, 2022, right, uh, on the 2022 March uh, around there, uh, we see that Baba has been trading at this range of uh, roughly 120 until the range of uh, $60, uh, give or take about 60 to, yeah, 60 to 64 uh, around there. Okay, so recently it made a higher low, actually 64. Previously it was about 60 and a half. So I think this was an extreme. This instance was an extreme. Okay, so disclaimer again, I am not cursing, uh, cursing the Baba to drop or any malice or whatever. I am just showing you the observations from the chart. Okay, so again, if I offend anybody, I'm sorry, but I have to be. I have to be fair, right? I have to be a fair and unbiased. Okay, I cannot say that it's lousy. I cannot say that it's good. If it's lousy, I have to say it's bad. Okay, so recently Baba came up with the results. It's not that amazing, I know. Okay, however, Baba is still cheap, ah, by the way. Okay. Even though the result is not amazing, it paints a declining picture. However, however, okay, you all must see properly and understand properly that it is still very cheap, right? It's still very, 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 very cheap, okay? And compared to last year, 2023, it actually grew, right? Okay, so what I want to look at is actually... Oh, this is weird. Usually, non-gap is higher. Why is non-gap higher? I also don't know. Why is gap higher than non-gap? Anyway, let's just annualize the two dollars. This one, or oh, we and there's a six months one, right? The yeah, six months one. We can take uh, we just take this uh two dollars, uh, two dollar fifteen cents, and just round it down to two dollars, and then we uh do the stuff multiply uh, by four. We can see that Baba is actually about eighty dollars now, roughly give or take, and we think that you know a PE of eight, uh, or I mean even ten, uh, for Baba is actually still cheap, uh, I would say, right? More or less is about, yeah, it's not bad. It's quite cheap, although it's the the margins for the Taobao and Tmall is declining. We don't believe that it is a. Is like say that wow, Baba super overpriced. Already expect so much, but the thing drop and all that. Not really, lah. I mean, is is actually priced like a value stock, you know. It's not priced as a growth stock, lah. So, and the fact that it didn't grow, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't put a lot of emphasis on it, lah. I would say that yeah. I wouldn't put a lot of emphasis on it, lah. But. Uh, You can see the, I think I talked about this before, the cloud earnings was not bad la, and all that. So I am not finding it really like, you know, uh, very lousy results or anything. La. I would say it's about the same. But the margins are smaller. Okay. And although the margins for the Taobao and the Tmall group is smaller, they are selling more goods. Okay. So again, I remind you that Baba is still cheap. Fundamentally, is still good. A lot of you, I think, is a bit... Uh, you don't... 
understand uh, what I'm trying to say. Uh. Okay. You don't understand what I'm trying to say. So Baba is still a very good and cheap company. So you really must understand uh, what people is talking about. Uh. Okay. Use the revenue. Now I did talk about this. I didn't like this partner. Okay, but they reduce the share based compensation uh, to actually, uh, you know, make the income from operation actually more uh, than before. And amortization of intangible assets is actually not really an amortization. Uh. Okay. So I would say that uh, honestly speaking, uh, uh, doesn't really matter. Uh. They got their own ways of uh, tackling the, uh, the, the, the small problem here. Okay. So I would like to remind you all uh, that this is still a very good and cheap company. Okay. Again, I remind you, remind you that I am not biased. I'm not cursing this to come down. Okay. So I really hope uh, that we are clear on that part, huh? that I can only be, uh, when I see the charts, I see what I see. I don't, yeah. So we take a look at this, we see that it broken down from this upwards uh, channel. Uh. There's a possibility that there are two, there are two, possi there are two, two channels that have been broken. That channel has been broken and the Fibonacci retracement from the previous low here until here okay it's about 120 right okay we see that the 61.8 percent uh, is already broken also so we are coming down more okay so the 61.8 percent from the fibonacci retracement is already broken the 62 i would say 61.8 or 62 is already broken which shows that we are in a very weak state lah. okay so again, they, again, this is just uh, technical is probability. Doesn't mean always will happen. Lah. Okay. And again, uh, there is this pretty decent support at 79, 79 to about 77. Okay. There's this quite decent support here. It's making some lows here. One, two, three. I believe touch here is going to rebound. If it touches here, it's going to rebound. Okay. There may be possibly rebound. I don't know whether it's maybe it comes back up again or maybe it retests the, the, the channel then comes back down again. Nobody knows. Okay. So when you zoom out, what do you see? Sideways, right? Sideways, sideways, sideways with the top here and the bottom here. Is it possible for this to come down here again? Test the, the bottom area again to consolidate around here. If it's a sideways pattern. Yeah, right. I mean, this is pretty obvious, right? This is not being biased or anything, right? Not cursing anybody, right? You can see that it is below here, right? It is playing around here, right? Okay. So, yeah, I, I rest my case. Uh, that I think that there's a possibility that Baba is going to come here based on this sideways momentum pattern. Okay. Then you're going to say, but Robert, you say the technical, uh, the, the fundamental is cheap and all that, blah, 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 blah. In the short term, does it really matter uh, about the fundamentals? Fundamentals are more more on the five years later or six years later kind of thing. It's not really uh, more to the one month or two month or three month or six, one year or two years. Okay. Fundamental is more to the long term, uh, seven years or eight years, right? I think Baba is going to go back up again, maybe 150, right? Maybe higher. As the Chinese economy starts to improve again, everybody starts spending more and more money, right? Then it can improve back to where it is supposed to be. Increase in multiple, multiple expansion and all, okay? So, I'm just telling you, right? The technical, uh, the technical analysis, okay? Then the other one is Baidu. Okay, again, if I, I offend anybody, I'm sorry. Eh? 
I have to repeat that again over and over again. If you don't like the content, you just unsubscribe lah. It's okay. And if it's making you stress out, I know of course this kind of thing stress you out, but uh, there's this opportunity for you to make money as you buy. Okay, so again, I haven't teach, I haven't said that. What am I gonna do? <coughs> so I will. Some of you may say that ah, uh, it's lousy. This stock is lousy. I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna dump. I'm gonna like that. This is this is the stupidest stock in the world. Robert says he's gonna go down, so he says it's lousy. It is like a curse, or not really a curse, not really bad, not really lousy. You have to take the opportunity when it's coming down to start buying, accumulating, with the expectation that it's gonna go down lower. For example, now eighty one, now is a buy, right? Start buying, start buying. Anything, any price below about eighty five is already very cheap for you to start accumulating. This is the accumulation phase. You should start accumulating at the bottom. We don't know whether it's gonna go down until here. We don't know whether it's gonna go down until here. We don't know whether it's gonna go down until here. Everything we talk about is possibility. So we buy in stages, right? Oh, this is near the support eighty dollars. Let's buy this. Oh, it breaks. Oh, let's buy some more. Uh, let's say uh, seventy five. Let's buy some more. Right? This is a pretty decent support here. Then the next one, the next support will be somewhere here. Right? Oh, sixty nine or sixty nine. Oh, let's buy here again one more time. Then it fast down some more. Oh, it's sixty five dollars. Okay, this is a pretty really strong support. Let's buy one more, sixty five. And then it falls down some more here. Oh, we already calculated that it might go down here. This is the buy. Let's buy this some more. Okay. And then what if it falls down here? Do you take, do you do you stop loss? No, you just keep it because it's fundamentally good anyway. Right, it's fundamentally good. Just keep it. It's in no man's land. If it goes down to even lower, it is gonna give you a very nice amount of dividends every year. Just treat it as a dividend stock. If you buy anything, ah, this is quite good, really, not bad. Okay. So this is what I'm saying to you all, uh. I'm saying that, hey, Robert say you go down. This is opportunity. Don't be stupid. Oh my God! Don't tell me you go up then you buy. Uh. Right. When you go up that time, I say, wow, this is not really a good time to buy, really. I remember that time everybody was buying, 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 buying. I was like, don't FOMO, don't FOMO. Right, a lot of you FOMO already. So when it's down, this is the FOMO time. This is the FOMO time. Okay, so now you can buy. Don't, 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 don't scare yourself or allow. I see these, some of you are, wow. Okay. So I see some of you maybe very scared. The, the reason why you are very scared and very stressed is because you have very high concentration of that in your portfolio. You must diversify. That's the problem with you. You never diversify. Okay? So, for example, I think Clutch at that time, he uh, diversified to 10 cents. Uh. 10 cents kept going up, you know. I tell you. Right? Okay? 10 cents kept going up. I told him, hey, 10 cents is better. He sold the Baba, then he buy 10 cents. The 10 cents keep going up. Ba, 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 ba. At that time, then Baba also go up. Then now Baba come back down. Right? So, what does that mean? Nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows. Not even you, not even me. I don't know what's going to happen. I am not God. Okay? But I look at 10 cents. I see the way it works. I saw the margin expansion. I saw the way they increased the bottom line and the top line at the same time. I feel impressed by this company. This is really one of the best companies in China if the financial statements are true. That's number one. So this one, fundamentally, I approve a lot of Tencent. This is one of the stocks where I approve a lot. And I'm going to buy more if it drops. As it drops, I'm going to buy more. This is one of my highest faith buys compared to the uh, actually, Baba also, I got faith. Lah. Don't worry. Okay. So, a lot of you, I think, like, very defensive. Ah. Not, 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 not defensive about the, the position. Ah. I think that is the wrong way you all do things. Ah. So, this is really not about uh, Manchester United versus Chelsea or versus uh, Man City. And you are taking that stance in in buying stocks, okay? That is 
going to lead to ruin. Okay, to ruin financial ruin. Because you are so biased, you cannot see. You are oblivious to all the weaknesses in the stock. For example, SMCI. Even now, a lot of people want to buy. A lot of people say it's still cheap and all that. Blah 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 blah. They think that it's going to go to what one thousand dollars or two thousand dollars. I don't know. I don't care. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not true. But hey, you know, let's take a look at the 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 the, the claims and the thing. Okay. Why did Ernst and Young quit the thing? If 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 is it such an amazing stock, why did Ernst and Young quit? I also don't know. Maybe got cheating, maybe got fake accounting, maybe not. I don't really care. Is it really my problem that they got accounting, fake accounting, all that? Not really. I don't know A, I don't know B, I don't know C, I don't know D. Okay. So ten cents. How am I gonna play this? Ten cents. You can see that is following an upwards momentum, lah. Um, I'm actually buying this as it goes down slowly, lah. If it goes down, hopefully it does, lah. I'm actually more interested in accumulating uh, this than Baba, lah. Honestly speaking, lah. If you, I, you ask me, I think it's higher quality, lah. The business. But of course, uh, there is this potential that is gonna get whacked by the. Yeah, I believe ten cents. Ah, uh, there is this chance for this to go down to about three hundred dollars again. Ah, uh. there's this chance. Maybe three hundred dollars. Who knows? Maybe, or maybe just go down until here and then starts flying back up again. Right, three hundred dollars or maybe three hundred eighty-eight. Then fly back up again. So I don't know. I'm still waiting. But if if this guy form a go up again then come down again that means it's a head and shoulders okay. Uh, that means it's about three hundred and ten dollars lah later. Can start buying lah, heavy. Okay, can start buying heavy. I think ten cent is really one of the best ah. I saw the result like, hey, this one is really good man. Okay, then the JD result also not bad. I was like looking at it. I was like, it's not bad, but I. I I saw the OCF and I was like, hey, what suddenly what happened to the OCF? Why suddenly the OCF become negative? That part I am a bit iffy, lah, the OCF part. Okay. So this one is not a buy yet. Okay. Baba is already a slow uh, accumulation. You should buy, you should be buying. Buy do. Somebody uh, say my saw my that one. And then don't want to buy. Scared. Why are you so scared? So weird, man. You all play the thing. So the way you play Baidu is, I believe, you must do the thing properly, lah. You can see that it's a more sideways pattern, also. Okay, don't forget, lah. We are very close to the bottom. Now, this is either a make a rebound or break or break down to. Thirty eight point uh, thirty six uh. yeah. So if this drops uh, below seventy three, there is a very high chance uh, that it's gonna come down somewhere until here before it stops the the decline. Okay. So you gonna ask Robert can buy or not buy do? I think can buy to trade, not to invest. Okay, buy do is buy to to trade, not to invest. Okay, you trade, then you hope that it rebound. No? The most recent support is roughly about uh, seventy eight. Yeah, now we are reaching that nice support. So I think it's just gonna go sideways, uh, From what I see, so touch here bottom, then go back up again somewhere, maybe the middle here. On this middle thing, you can start taking profits, uh. $90. So I think buy do is a very quick profit make, uh, trade. La. Buy the bottom, palm go up. Okay. There is a possibility that it's going to go down somewhere until here uh, because the result is. I remember. Uh, because they are not rewarding their shareholders enough. La. A lot of people are getting suspicious of them. That's, that's all I can say. La. Okay. So this is a buy with a stop loss at $70. Uh. 
slowly buy, slow accumulation, $70 stop loss. Okay. What if it crashes? You already got a stop loss. No? So this one is very dangerous. Nah. You must buy with a stop loss. Okay. What about Baba? Uh, Baba, if, if, it, if it tanks, you got the dividend. Nah. Right. They are doing the dividend and the buybacks. They're actually giving you about 5% dividend, you know, with the, if you consider with the buyback. 5 to 7%, nah, if I'm not mistaken. So if it tanks, nah, you're getting it for really cheap. Nah. So Baba is a buy. Slowly, you accumulate now. Baidu is I would say fundamentally a buy but the, the, the they are not really buying a lot of the stocks uh. that's why I would say I would say fundamentally uh is not a buy uh, but technically it's a trade uh, I would say yeah but but some people some people say oh, but, oh this thing is company is very cheap uh, and all that uh, and all that uh, and all that uh, and all that uh, uh a company is good also based on the the way it treats the shareholders. Now you cannot just say that the company profitable but never give you a single cent. Then you expect share price appreciation, right? Like all the U.S. tech stocks. Right? It doesn't work that way for the Chinese ones, right? In fact, when it give, goes down so low and if it doesn't buy back the stock, you'll be suspicious whether you got the money or not to buy back the stock. Then it's gonna affect the stocks, uh, overall standing and the demand for the stock. So, and you can't do anything to Baidu. It's government also, right? It's surely related to the government. So, this is I would say um, something you should be wary of, lah. You shouldn't put too much of your cash inside. Okay, but it's something like what Sam said. You wait ten years, fifteen years. Uh, see whether uh, they can export out their technology because their technology, if it's true, is groundbreaking. What FSD, right? AI, earning AI. So I think Baidu really got a lot of potential, man. A lot of potential. Okay, but what's the problem? Are they going to reward shareholders after they realize the potential and make the money, you know? Or are they gonna keep lending? Taking the money and put it in the investments department. Investments, investments, investments. Which NAP NAP, according to NAP NAP, is most likely being lent out to the government, provincials, and state. Okay, so Baidu is a trade, nah, is a trade. So it's a trade. Fundamentally, the results is amazing, is cheap. Very very cheap. It's is really, really very cheap. Okay. Um, let me tell you all uh, This is if it's American company. Uh, it's going to trade at three hundred twenty dollars. Uh, because it really got the technology, you know, to do all this stuff. Three hundred twenty lah. Uh, I would say. Yeah, uh, ten twenty. But yeah, based on the stinginess of it, not giving out the money and all that. Um, but U.S. companies, the tech one also don't give dividends. What? Okay. I think that's it for, for this uh, this session. Okay. Again, I have to remind you all, uh, I am not cursing uh, Alibaba to drop below 75, you know, or like that. It may seem that it's really bad, but I'm just looking at the historical chart. Okay. If uh, offend anybody, sorry. Please unsubscribe. This channel is not for you. Thank you very much.